Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Limerick, and this is Limerick on Life. Uptown, one of the first hits by a great girl group back in the early 60s. From Brooklyn, New York, five teenagers calling themselves the Crystals. The lead on that tune was sung by Barbara Alston. She passed away a few days ago in Charlotte at the age of 74. Cause of death? The flu. But looking back, their next single, released in 1962, caused controversy. The title, would you believe, the title was He Hit Me and It Felt Like a he Kiss. He hit me and it felt like a kiss. That song was written by Carol King, produced by Phil Spector. Even though the group didn't like the title, Spectre went ahead and released it. Immediately, radio stations around the country got a ton of complaints. The record was pulled. Can you imagine what might happen today? Next up for the girls, a tune written by Gene Pitney. Spectre was so anxious for it to be released, and since the group was unable to fly to L.A. right then, he got Darlene Love and a group called The Blossoms to record it. It was a monster hit called... But on the record, it said the Crystals. The real Crystals were outraged, but couldn't get out of the contract. And in 1963, they finally had a big hit for themselves called... So was the late Barbara Alston singing lead on that one? Nope. Spectre went with a 13-year-old girl named Lala Brooks. She also sang lead on one of my favorites. Like many other girl groups, the Crystals eventually broke up, went their separate ways, got married, had kids, and of course, Phil Spectre's in prison for murder. He is 79 years old. One thing more about that Hit Me song, Carol King wrote it after learning her babysitter and singer Eva Boyd had been regularly beaten by her boyfriend. Eva apparently said he didn't mean to hurt her, that he really loved her. In a few years, Boyd returned home to North Carolina penniless, had three kids, died of cancer at 59. She's buried in Bell Haven, North Carolina. So what was her one hit for which she was paid very little money? Little Eva, a million seller called That's a slice of life. I'm Doug Limerick. Sure hope you enjoyed the podcast. You'll find the complete podcast library on my website, my new website, douglimerick.com. Check it out. Let us know what you think.